June 6th, St. Norbert, Bishop, of noble rank and rare talents, Norbert passed a most pious youth and entered the ecclesiastical state. By a strange contradiction, his conduct now became a scandal to his sacred calling, and at the court of Emperor Henry the Fourth, he led, like many clerics of that age, a life of dissipation and luxury one day when he was thirty years of age he was thrown half dead from his horse and on recovering his senses resolved upon a new life after a severe and searching preparation he was ordained priest and began to expose the abuses of his order silenced at first by a local council he obtained the pope's sanction and preached penance to listening crowds in france and the netherlands he gave to some trained disciples the rule of saint austin and a white habit to denote the angelic purity proper to the priesthood the canons regular as they were called Called, were to unite the active work of the country clergy with the obligations of the monastic life their fervor renewed the spirit of the priesthood quickened the faith of the people and drove out heresy a vile heretic however named tankelin appeared at antwerp in the name of st norbert and denied the reality of the priesthood and especially blasphemed the blessed sacrament our saint was sent forth to drive out the pest by his burning words he exposed the impostor and rekindled the faith of the blessed sacrament many of the apostates had proved their contempt for the blessed sacrament by burying it in filthy places norbert bade them search for the sacred host they found them entire and uninjured and the saint bore them back into the tabernacle triumphantly hence he is generally painted with the monstrance in his hand in eleven twenty six norbert found himself appointed bishop of magdeburg and there at the risk of his life zealously carried on his work of reform and died worn out with toil at the age of fifty-three reparation for the injuries offered to the blessed sacrament was the aim of st norbert's great work of reform how much does our present worship repair for our own past irreverences and for the outrages offered by others to the blessed sacrament